Ever wondered what makes light unique? What's so special about it? Light, as we know, consists of photons, particles with zero mass and zero charge. Light is also an electromagnetic wave, that is an electric field and a magnetic field propagating through space perpendicular to one another. According to the special theory of relativity, the speed of light is constant for all observers, meaning it is independent of the motion of both source and observer. If I were to drop a ball from a moving car, the ball will remain under my hand during its downward motion, even though the car has moved forward. This is because the ball inherits the velocity of the car and has the same horizontal displacement as the car. Logically then, light should also inherit the velocity of its source. But if a torch moving at half the speed of light was switched on, the light from a torch won't travel at one and a half times the speed of light. It would simply travel at the speed of light. This is rather non-intuitive. What makes light different from other waves, such as sound? When I snap my fingers, the air molecules around my finger start vibrating. These disturbances are transmitted molecule to molecule, which is how a wave propagates, using a medium. The medium in which light was presumed to travel was called the luminiferous ether. Mitchelson and Morley, to test the ether's existence, set up an experiment using an interferometer. Since the Earth is moving through space, in the Earth reference frame, we can say the ether is moving past the Earth. Using the interferometer, incoming light was reflected along two perpendicular directions. The light travelling in the direction of the ether would speed up and the one opposite slow down. As they took different times to reach the detector, upon converging, their waves would be non-uniform or have interference. But the experiment revealed that the light waves had no interference meaning the waves of light were unaffected by the motion of the ether. Conclusion, light doesn't require a medium to propagate. But what's the significance of this result? Say you were on a walk. In your reference frame, everything moves backwards, including air, the medium for travel of sound. That means the sound of your high will appear to travel slower than its actual speed because the very thing it is moving through is traveling in the opposite direction. But with light, there is no medium. It's traveling through empty space, which can't move back. So no matter how I move, the speed of light will remain constant in my reference frame. Now one may ask, why can't we apply force on light in order to speed it up? Well, Newton's second law says that force equals mass times acceleration. Since light is made up of photons, which have no mass, we can't apply a force on it, meaning we can't accelerate it. Once light is emitted from a source, we may be able to change its direction, but we can't speed it up. And so the speed of light is just the speed of light.